boys and girls to the general knowledge of the Bible quiz. Let's take some time to recap last lesson with your officers and your peers. Alright, I hope that the last lesson has been beneficial for you. Let's look at today's lesson. So today's lesson will be on worship. So let's take a minute to talk about worship with your officers and your members and your peers. So what is worship? Let's discuss. You can pause here before we continue. So what is worship? If you look at the word worship itself, it comes from the word worth and the word worship. So it means worship is something that is worth or valuing something which is in this case worship means we value God we're showing the worth of God so worship is the act of displaying God's worth so what then is the basis or the fundamentals of a true worship how shall we behave when we worship? What are the inner expression of a true worship? A true worship is in essence a matter of the heart. Meaning, the importance of a true worship is the heart and not the action first. Your heart has to be right in order for the worship to be true. Your heart has to be treasuring God, has to be valuing God above anything in your life. With that basis, with that fundamentals, only then we can talk about the outward expression, the action that we do when we're worshipping. So what are the acts that we do during worshipping or what are the outside outward expression of a worship? So we can sing to express our worship to God. We can declare, we can shout, we can say out to worship God. And we can pray to worship God. And when we pray, we say, God, you are our wonderful, almighty God. You are the greatest God, the one true loving God. That is worship. But before this outward expression can be done, your heart must be right. You have to do this from your heart. Only when your heart is right, your actions will follow through. Because worshipping is something that makes God happy. It is glorifying God. So worshipping doesn't only limit to singing, declaring, praying. But it also involves serving others. Because by worshipping God, we are expressing God's value and God's wonder above all things else. Meaning that we will follow Him. We will be His children. That means to serve others. So, have you ever wondered why do we sing in BB? Have you wondered? As I shared just now, singing is one of the way of worshipping God and giving Him praise. So yes, that is why we sing in BB. That is to worship God and to praise God. So let me ask you this question. Why do we praise God? Take a minute to pause and discuss this with your officers and your members and your peers. Why do we praise God? So why do we praise God? So praising God 
I said shirt just now is an outward expression of worshipping God for His grace and love. We praise God because God loves us. God gave us grace. That's why we praise God. That's why we worship God. His love is so wonderful. You can only experience God's love when you allow Him to love you. So, when we sing in the BB setting, we always see that we are singing together. Can we sing alone? Yes, we can. We can sing along. We can sing alone, we can pray alone, but we can also worship together. To pray together, to sing together, to praise God together, that is what we call a corporate worship. Because in a corporate worship, we unite ourselves with one another to acknowledge the holiness of God, to hear God's word to offer our prayers to Him and to celebrate His love and blessings to us. So when we do it together, we are in unity. We show that we are in fellowship as how God called us to. Because we are in one body of Christ. So when we worship together, it's a wonderful experience. But it doesn't mean that we cannot worship by ourselves. We can both worship by ourselves and with one another towards God, giving praise for Him. But at the end of the day, our heart should be praising Him to start with. Our hearts should be treasuring Him to start with. That is worship. So, I'll leave you with today's reflection question. What is Christian worship? And what are the common things to expect when we do a corporate worship together? And why do we do all those things? Discuss it with your officers and your peers. And thank you for staying on for today's lesson. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lesson.